On there, folks. Good afternoon. It is the Earthmaster back here on this Thursday, July 20th, 2023. Uh, about noon, straight up noon here along the uh, West Coast in California. Latest quake shows a 4.7 here into the Indonesia area. We are seeing a return of clustering taking place here across the Indonesia Islands area. Again, the latest of 4.7. Uh, checking out areas here across the West Coast to see what we got going on here for California. I did have some movement uh, just south of my area about uh, a couple hours or so ago near Palermo, near Oroville, out here, 3.0. Very shallow earthquake. Uh, aside from that, really not a whole lot going on through the Pacific Northwest. The rest of California, a little spotty, a little earthquake activity here and there. Uh, but for the most part, things are tapering off here slightly across the state of California. A little bit of clustering down here, but this is all very small microquake movement uh, over the last 24 hours. Uh, 2.1 there, one of the recent quakes. All right, uh, the rest of the area around Idaho and up into Yellowstone. Not a whole lot. Some smaller microquakes being reported. Double check the Yellowstone seismograph stations here and see what we have going on today. Uh, I see one little earthquake, it looks like, over here around the northwest corner of the park. That's going to be this uh, little blip here on the graph. But aside, aside from that, things are uh, fairly mellow over there looking like today. All right, uh, the rest of the states here, as you can see, fairly minimal uh, activity there across the region. Puerto Rico area. Well, let's see. We got a 4.3 coming in right now to the Middle America Trench area. It looks like it's in that region where the uh, uh, that El Salvador earthquake took place here just a couple days ago. Seen some uh, clustering going on there today. Puerto Rico area getting a little swarming going on here around the Puerto Rico Trench once again. That's that area that has seen uh, some up and downs in terms of swarming activity over the past couple weeks. Uh, looks like activity trying to stir up there again today with a 4.1 and a couple other upper threes in the Puerto Rico Trench area. Uh, again, nothing showing up here on the USGS map. These are mostly uh, below the 4.0 threshold, but we do have one 4.3 coming in. Looks like there may even be a couple fours in there. Not for sure what's going on with the USGS today, but they're a little on the slow side for getting the reporting in for that area. South America region, couple low grade fours, one from yesterday and one from today the big island here what do we got going on here across this region looks like some smaller microquakes across pahala nothing major going on as far as volcanic activity goes just keeping an eye on things and uh, the alaska region typical for a major plate boundary and a subduction zone this earthquake here from uh, yesterday that 5.0 really haven't seen too much activity stirring up following that five pointer uh, since yesterday I think our main uh, cluster of movement here today, momentum, is going to be this area around the Indonesia area. Uh, we haven't really seen an advancement along the plate boundary, so I expect that to fill in with all this uh, activity kind of pointing in the arrow in that direction. So we'll keep an eye on the uh, Java Trench regions here today. Uh, Fiji area, Tonga, uh, I believe this activity here is from yesterday. Really not seeing any newer movement take place there uh, across the area. And as you can see, things very calm, very quiet across the rest of the plate boundaries here. A little spotty movement here across the uh, Turkey area, it looks like, and over here around Morocco. A little bit of movement stirring up across the Iceland area as well. But uh, I think the focus right now definitely uh, stirring up here around the Indonesia Islands area. We'll keep an eye on that. All right, as uh, far as space weather activity goes, let's go ahead and double check space weather. Still, still... Uh, dealing with some proton events here this is uh hasn't really tapered off much since the uh, stir up here over two days ago now still affecting the uh polar regions it looks like there the uh, ionosphere having a looks like a, a couple day party up there in the red still and uh, that does affect some radio communication systems way up north uh, let's see what we got for flaring. Have we had any major flares overnight? Doesn't look like it. Return of normal conditions here, if you can call this normal, down into the sea flare category. Uh, continue to see an elevated threat there with the protons. 15% chance for an X flare. M flare at 50 and the sea flare category at 99% chance 
a look at the complex magnetogram image here. Um, shows quite a few sunspots in our direction, but uh, uh, none of these are really standing out to me far as any uh, thing to write home about. Uh, we're getting a little development here in this sunspot area that's uh, worth keeping an eye on, but for the most part, the majority of these uh, don't look like they pose any major threats right now. Uh, that giant sunspot here on the northeastern limb of the sun got a better perspective of it today and uh, even that doesn't look all that impressive uh, but we'll continue to watch these things they do kind of kick up out of the blue stir up and get uh, you know fairly unstable all right uh, let's see you did have a little bit of uh, g1 storm coming in here well it didn't quite make the g1 category it peaked up around g4 that was the arrival of that uh, CME from the 17th during that long duration M flare event that kind of sparked off the proton events here as well into the uh, polar regions. But it looks like it barely, barely hit us. 450 KMs, that's not really all that impressive. And uh, it was just a very, very minor uh, event. But nonetheless, just barely clipped us. That was kind of what I was calling for. And uh, we'll hopefully wait for uh, some further flaring and some further CMEs to be produced in the future from some, some of these uh, sunspots. Uh, looking at the weather forecast here today, some enhanced weather throughout portions of, uh, looks like, panhandles out there in uh, eastern Colorado, western Oklahoma, as, or uh, western Kansas as well. Getting in on some uh, enhanced weather. 5% chance of tornado probabilities out there around Pueblo, it looks like. Uh, the main threat is going to be some wind and some hail, but you know, keep your eye on the sky with that tornado potential and definitely get one stirring up out there. Looks like the areas, um, even in Detroit, it looks like Michigan area, Toledo, Ohio, Warren. Um, yeah, just be on guard today, folks. All right, I'm going to jump off here. I, uh, I gotta swap out my AC unit here in the computer room. It, it, uh, something short circuited on it. I'm not an electrician, and uh, it may be more expensive to call an electrician uh, than to just replace it. Not a super huge one, but I do like to keep the computer room cool. And uh, right now it's not doing uh, much of anything. So we'll catch you guys back here later tonight with the update. Stay safe out there and enjoy your Thursday. We got Friday right around the corner. Did you see one? I think it was just one person that won that uh, huge jackpot last night in Los Angeles. It always seems to be the bigger cities. What's up with that? Not for sure. All right. I'll catch you guys back here later tonight. Have a good one.